it's also trapped. I guess I better be prepared for it to be trapped. Uh, I guess I can't assume anything. Nope. Alright, thankfully it's not trapped. Now I'm wondering what the deal is here. What's going on with that thing? Is that a warp? Is that a warp panel going out? If so, that would be pretty cool. If so, that would be really cool. That would actually be a very kind thing for the uh, for ZZ Zonk Miles to have done for us. Jahali, I definitely agree. To be fighting wizard vampires, that's a, that's about where I would be to, towards the end of the game. You're right about that. All right, I'm gonna see how this white staff works. Okay, so it, it's it's only self-targeting. There we go. All right, so that's that's why it's only self-targeting, which is not huge, but uh, it's not too bad. It's better than nothing. So it's a cure spell that, that's only self-targeting. Alright, so I hope this is... Okay. I hope this is a... A warp tile. You know what, if it is, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna YOLO it like it is. I'm just gonna give them everything I've got here. Which is not a whole lot on this guy, because I'm leaving some spell charge... Or some spell um, slots open. Does something open up for red wizards that I will want later? So that's why I don't have fire three and lit three on both of those guys. I don't know if that's the right call or not, but that's why that is what that is. Okay. So let's see if this is a, if this is a warp tile out. I'll be really, really happy if it is. Although I've get okay, spike squares, spike squares, spike squares. Uh, Shahali, I did a a pretty decent amount of grinding. I gained like five or six levels um, before doing this dungeon, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable with where I am. Um, I don't know if that's going to be what I need for all of them. I probably didn't need to do as much as I did um, for this one. I probably could have made it down here maybe a little bit more on the edge of my seat than where I am now uh, without as much grinding, but I did it mostly for the stream quality because I don't want the streams of these dungeon crawls to be just death after death after death. Um, so I'm making a point to do a lot of grinding between streams just so that I can get these dungeons crawled without too many repetitions on stream. Because I, I'm doing the dungeon crawls mostly blind. I'm not looking at maps or anything. I am doing some reading about what's in them. But uh, I'm not using maps, so I don't know exactly what's where. So there will be some wasted chests that I'm grabbing, like that thief knife item. Um, so I just I want the stream to be as pleasant as, as it can be. So let's see if this is a warp out. Yes. Thank goodness it is. Thank you, Zonk Miles. All right. So now I'm going to be heading back to the, uh, the All DC to do some uh, reviving and saving. And then I will head to another long and dangerous dungeon that's the Titan Tunnel, which has been uh, expanded greatly in this version. Actually, you know what? Let's fight this one. Because I've got my I've got my sun staff, so I can cast harm now. And I have one more fire too, so. Might as well do it. I'm trying to think of how I can best use that white staff. Because um, it's, it's unfortunate that I can't use it to target, and you can't move weapons around between characters during battle, so I couldn't move it to a character who needed healing, although I could stick it on a fighter. But I would hate to be wasting fighters' turns healing themselves. Normally, the, the thing that's so nice about the heal staff in uh, the NES version, the vanilla version, is that you can have a support character use it to give everyone some free healing. So you can keep your, your melee fighters swinging, so to speak. 
and your, uh, your less powerful characters can sit in the back and heal. Not the case here with this one. I'll have to do some thinking about that. It's nice to have some free healing. I'm sure I'll be able to make use of it somehow. I guess just to, I could use it just to save some heal potions, just to keep my red mages alive when they, when they can. Maybe when one gets full, I can move the weapon to the other one. See whoever gets to turn first. I'm also noticing the, the big difference in the way the intelligence works. In this, in this version, as I believe in the restored version, um, intelligence does not apply when you're using items, but it does apply, of course, when you're casting a spell directly. So I've seen, I can see that with the sun um, staff. I can see that my my mages are not getting nearly the the damage from the, the harm spells as they would. It's either that or or the harm spell calculation is different. It could be that I might be uh, I might just have that wrong. And what I may also do, I might take a look at the level 3 spells again and see about buying a Fire 2 for um, that other Red Mage. Maybe I'll pop down to Elfland and see about getting Fire 2. I want to see what other level 3 things I might want to get. Now let's just use it. Yeah, if I can get away, I can get away. If I can get these... High spells off, I'll get the high spells off. But actually, you know what? I think with the ruby, I think I can get to Crescent Lake. So I'll do that before I go to the Titan Tunnel. Because um, I should be able to get the next level spells. I, I have three spell charges on there for both of my mages. So you can tell I'm kind of over-leveled for where, you know, of course you normally would be. But I've got more spell charges for the mages that I can fill in uh, Crescent Lake. Because I believe Crescent Lake is blocked by another Titan. So let's do that, too. Before we head back to the Earth Cave, we've got uh, quite a few little chores to take care of. So the first part of the Earth Cave was down, and that's I was worried about getting down in there. go. Probably wasn't the most efficient way to do that. But yeah, the, the sad thing about these enemies that have so much capability to stone and do huge crits, even on high-level characters, is that you're going to get variation like this. You're going to get... I, I've got from 23 to 26, and that's just from these two fighters getting stoned and killed uh, during grinding. So that's, that's sad to see. Ooh, I even have a level 7 charge with uh, with that guy. How close is he? So he's 18,000 from the next level, but I have a level 7 charge for that one red mage. But I'm going to see about getting a fire 2 charge and level 3. I need to come down here to get softs anyway. Do that. Because another charge of fire 2 would be really helpful down there in the earth cave. Going through it again. Possibly even with Lich. But yeah, sadly, they can't learn fast. And I don't think they can learn temper. They can learn uh, a spell that is kind of like a fast for themselves. The Red Mages can. But uh, they can't learn temper. Which, maybe that's the level 3 spell that I'm waiting for. Let me see. Okay, yeah, quick is that is that other one, but it's it's like a self-targeting fast. Quick is a self-targeting fast spell. All right, I have X bar or X barrier. So I've got fire two, cure two, and then lit two, and X barrier. So maybe I will pick up. Uh, fire 2 for the other one. Just to help my survivability in the upcoming dungeon, and I will leave that up in case there is something else I want to learn. So I gotta restock on my potions. But thank you for this buy 9 feature. So 
Otherwise, this could really take a long time. Alright, we're down to two individuals now. So you can't, yeah, you can't max out that way, so you can only buy nine or you can buy one. So if I had 21 or whatever, then I have to buy the rest there. Um, let's get some more soft. Yes, because money really is no, no longer a concern for me at this point in the game. How am I doing for item? Item. Yeah, I should have, I should be fine with those. I've got my ruby. Alright, so let's head over to Crescent. Pick up some magic. And then over to Titan Tunnel, which should be rather difficult. And I don't know what treasure is down there. I don't know what kind of monsters are waiting for me down there. I don't know anything about what to expect from Titan Tunnel, so... That's another reason why I want to stay over-leveled between streams. So that, um... I don't have to do a lot of... A, a lot of dying and, and restarting on every stream. There we go. Either way, that battle was going to end. Uh, let me make sure I'm at the right coordinates for going around the edge of the map for Crescent. Yep. Make sure I had gone far enough south. Make that work. And this should be the dock there. Oh, that should be the dock there. Alright, so this map has been edited. Alright. I need to go around and try to find a try to find a dock around Crescent Lake. My my dock has been removed. Too bad. Am I gonna have to walk through the desert to get there? What's he gonna make me do? It looks like it's open all the way across. Am I going to have to walk there from Elfland? Alright, nope. I can't walk there from Elfland. Alright, I'll try going farther north. And I don't really want to bother with these battles in the, in the ocean anymore. They're just really not worth it for me. I guess I could use lightning too and get some free golden experience, but I don't know what's waiting for me on the land around Crescent Lake there. So normally the dock is right there. How close how close am I though? Alright, so maybe the dock is just right up in that uh, little nook there. I hope it is. Let's see if we can get good attacks here. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and one thing I need to check, if Fantasy gained a level, it may be better. I need to switch my Silver Swords around anyway. Okay, so there's the dock. So it's just a little bit more walking to the south for me. Alright, he's at 99, so the Silver Sword might still get him. Let me see. Okay, so still not quite enough. So 4494... So I, I still will need to have him with the, the falchion, but I can move a silver sword to this guy because he's level 23, 91. If he equips the falchion, he can't quite get there. Oh, he can. Okay, so we can both get there with falchion. So falchion, falchion. And yes, believe it or not, it's my red mages holding the silver sword because, yeah, that puts them up to four hits. Okay, so it puts him up to four hits. This guy, it only puts him, he's still at three hits. He's one level away from getting his four hits. So that's how that works. So we're kind of um, at optimum power here. Yeah, having that extra fire tool will, will really help in dealing with, with guys like this. And hopefully by the time 
Although I don't know with, you know, with attack. But by the time we're in places where Lightning 2 is going to be powerful, uh, hopefully we'll have some items that can cast those for us. Yeah, maybe walk from Provoka. I might be able to. I, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to explore without the airship. It's hard to really see, and, and the map, the mini map, isn't detailed enough. And I don't know if the mini map is actually different when you when you do the B select map because it's it's so fuzzy anyway. I don't know if that actually changed when uh, Zonk Miles did the edits here. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I'll try this one. Um, so yeah, I don't know if, if he changed that map, but it's, it's hard to explore and see what paths are clear and which paths are not. But uh, I did find the dock here that's not too far, so ZZ did just look, it looks like he just moved the dock up a little bit on the map to make me fight a little bit more to get the crescent. Just to make it a little bit more challenging. I guess I should use Fire 3. But the, this other Fire 2 should take them all out. Yeah, so I was thinking about my party configuration here, and, and it's it's true that they're not as versatile, but um, I'm I'm kind of glad that they have as much offensive power as they do. Yeah, and I'll I'll start burning my fire threes now because in in I'm noticing with this that the longer battles go, the more danger you really are. Um, of things like the like paralyzing and stone and all those nasty statuses, so it seems to be not as bad as I thought. If you have a party that can just end battles quickly, that can that can cast big spells, clear things out, fighters that can tank things. Um, if I had things like white mages and thieves, I wouldn't be able to end battles quite as quickly. I'd have to be relying more on the the healing and the defense, which takes some time and leaves you a little bit more susceptible to. Um, things like, like these Saurias here that I'm fighting, who have, uh, status attack stone. Alright. And there's a thing there. Alright, so, this guy lets me into Crescent Lake. I hope that didn't I hope that's not my only ruby. I hope that, uh... I hope the other ruby is still good. I should have probably tried that in the Titan Tunnel, but... I don't know. We'll see. You can do it, Light Warrior. Okay. Alright, so I have Lit 3, Flare, Bane, and Stun. Um, I'm gonna check... Flare... Alright, so it is a fire. This, this is my level 6 uh, white and black magic. So Flare is a fire based attack. That's a one enemy, and it, oh, it's red wizard only. Um, okay, so the red mage actually can't learn any of these. Red wizard. Red wizard. Alright, can the red mage learn any level 6 white? No, 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 no. Okay, so no... Actually, no level 6 spells for any of our guys. Alright. I should have probably checked that before I came here. So they can't learn any of the level 6 stuff. Yeah, uh, it looks... I, I had read that the... That Crescent was, um, was blocked by, by Titan. So yeah, that would keep Sequence Breakers out. Now, I hope that both Titans have disappeared. I hope that, that's, that that means that both of the Titans are gone. Um, then I haven't, like, wasted my ruby in some weird way and locked the game or something. So I'm not going to save. I'm just going to... I'm going to head over to the Titan Tunnel and see what's, see what's going on. Or I might create a save state or something. Hope I didn't do something weird there. All right. I can buy Silver Swords here, so actually I'm probably going to buy two more Silver Swords. Yeah. Because of... In, in one more level, those fighters will be able to switch to Silver Swords, and, and that'll be a better option for them. And maybe I can get some better armor here, too. I can sell off my Long Swords. 
I think I have to sell off all of those long swords. And this thief knife, none of my guys can equip that. Didn't get a whole lot for that. Oops. So, all right, he's got everything there. All right, I'm not gonna want this axe. And I can sell off this long sword. There. Okay. Can I get around there? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's see what some of these guys say. No response from this guy. Yeah, I like the I like the text that they've hidden in these. It's a nice touch. All right, so let's see if I've got some, got some better armor for me. The game's been tested a lot, so okay, so I, I must it must be okay. All right, cool. I can buy helmets now. I can buy helmets and silver armor. So let me take a look at what I have. All right, so I'll want two silver helmets. Let's sell off their turbans and get two silver helmets. Yeah, I I see what you mean, Shahali. I bet it's okay. All right, and that turban. Okay, now silver helmet. Yes. Oops. Yeah. So let's sell his shield. Bye. Shield. Take it. Bye. Silver helmet. Yes, you sell off your scale shield. Yes, and buy a silver shield. Okay, let me look at re-equipping here. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to do, Shahali. I'm definitely going to do a save state. Definitely going to do that. Alright, so these guys are all set. Can I buy a silver gauntlet? Uh, and let me check the numbers on that one. Okay. So he's got uh, 47.50. And this is going to be for him... 50-52, so it's a step up from that. I'm going to keep the Atlas Gauntlet on the other one because I think it's... it's comparable to the Silver Gauntlet, um, that definitely has the nice ability that I want on that character, and I don't want that at the expense of another armor slot, so, and these guys both have silver bracelets, I don't think there's anything better I can get for them. Yeah, there's nothing better I can get for them. They think there's a shield they can pick up later. Alright, so, I'm definitely glad I stepped up my equipment. Sad that I couldn't buy any spells. Looks like they're stuck with the spell inventory they have. And, um, I will... I will make a save state and just check out Titan's Tunnel. And if it looks... If it looks like I can see the that the Titan's been cleared out quickly, then I'll, I'll have to go back and use the, the, the save. Or I'll, I'll make a save state before I use the end. I guess is what I'll do. Yeah, I'll make a save state before I use the end. Although, I've already... I've already used up the ruby, so I didn't save state before that. But oh well, I'm sure it'll work out okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Because otherwise I'd have to reset and go through all the Earth Cave stuff again, which I don't want to do. I've wasted a ton of time streaming this. But I really don't think that that's uh, going to happen. I, I would assume that the Titan is gone in both places. in the water. That's why these battles can be pretty annoying at this point in the game. 
Yeah, I'll save state before I stay at the end, and then head over to Titan Tunnel, and if I run into something weird with the ring, if I somehow softlock the game, then I guess I reset and, uh, and do the Earth Cave again, and don't go over to the Crescent Lake, but I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure the designers have, have thought of that. And one thing I don't know, I guess, I don't know if there's a boss in the, in the Titan Tunnel. Am I here? What is that cave? Oh, I came down a little bit too much. That's the other that's the other end of Titan Tunnel, speaking of Titan Tunnel. I came down a little bit too far. And yeah, I went in too early. I don't think that's been an edit, I think that's just me not knowing my layouts very well. Let's see if we just get out of this one quickly. Cool. Alright, so let's see if I don't mess this up somehow. I'm going to make my save state. Right now, I haven't saved since using the ruby. Yep, and now I have a save state before using the end. And now we're off. And I think I've got, yeah, all my items are good. Everything's set. Everything's the way I want it. So off to Titan Tunnel. Fortunate about that that white staff. Got one of them. Hello, Tito Chasm. Welcome. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. Yes, woo FF1 indeed. Although, uh, you can tell from the title of the stream that this is uh, this is not the NES version of FF1 as we all know and love it. It's a, a ROM hack. Ooh, this is one of those strange, strange combos. But yeah, this is a ROM hack. It's called uh, Final Fantasy ZZ, named after the programmer Zonk Miles. Uh, it's a hard type hack. And I'm playing it semi-blind. Uh, there's, you can see, there's, there's some new items and new spells and some new enemies that have been added in, and uh, dungeon layouts have been redone. So you'll notice a lot of things are different, and I'm noticing them too as I run into them. So we're all kind of exploring this ROM hack together, and I'd love it if you uh, joined in. This, uh, the Dream Staff is one of the new ones here. That uh, it casts darkness and sleep on uh, all enemies. From the Red Mage. The Red Mages have been kind of nerfed a little bit in their power. They can't uh, learn as many spells as they once could. Uh, for example, they can't learn fast or temper, um, sadly. I wish they could. Um, yeah, and I'll have him... I have him. The Sun Staff has the Harm spell, but uh, I'm just, I'm just glad to get out of that battle because those guys aren't really worth too terribly much. All right, I'm going to tent out here, and the Titan Tunnel has been expanded into a much longer dungeon than it was before. If uh, I read correctly, although I haven't actually been in, in here yet, so that must be the exit there.
My tactic for a lot of these battles that are unrunnable, and you can see it tells you when they're unrunnable. Good. I, I put the wizard over to sleep because he cast ice. For some reason, his first um, AI move has a casting of ice, which is in, in this in this version, ice is an all-targeting spell. Uh, so that's actually a pretty pretty nasty spell to start the battle with. No longer just a quick, um, a quick dungeon. This is now a, a legit dungeon to have to deal with, and it's going to be spiked squares. Yep, lots of spiked squares because that's the way this game rolls. Okay, so Kido Kazim, you you've uh, heard of this of this hack? Okay, so you've heard of this, you were in the discussions a little bit, so I wasn't, <laughs> because Spike, that's right, I wasn't in on the discussions about it, I, I wasn't aware of it and actually until very recently. Yes, Shahali9, you're, you're right about that, it, it, it is grindy and RNG dependent, but uh, I don't mind the grindy parts 
I mean, I can do grinding um, off-stream while I'm doing other things, and it doesn't really bother me. So I am enjoying uh, the surprises with this, I will say. You were, you were around-ish. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Ooh. The free staff. I'm going to look this up really quick. Uh, I do have the readme here, so uh, we can all kind of learn together. Let's see what the free staff does. Okay, the free staff casts move. Let me see what move does again. Okay, move st move cures stun and sleep for the whole party. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, so Tito Cosm, I didn't pay anything for this for this hack. I didn't um, I didn't realize that uh, another thief knife. I didn't realize that there was um, money being being exchanged. Oops, I should turn off the the FAQ. I, I didn't realize that money was being exchanged for this one, but uh, I did not pay anything for it. I didn't see anybody asking. Oh, for the free staff. <laughs> Aha, nice. Very good. Very good. Yeah, the, the text is covering the game. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, point that out if I do that again. I left I left that up too long. <laughs> Here we go. No, that's that's okay, Tito Chasm. I like to um, when when I do check a text file like that, I, I intentionally like to put that up over the game while I'm stopped and checking it. But I on that time I forgot to turn it off on my broadcaster before I got back to it, so I played for a little bit there, but I do like to do that so that uh, anyone who's watching can see what I'm looking at and what I'm talking about. So the free staff has the spell move, which, which cures the, the stun status for uh, for everybody sleep and stun status, which actually that's pretty nice. So I was hoping that some of, some of these items would help make up for my lack of, of white mage, and getting getting the white staff and the free staff are going to certainly be helpful. Yeah, it can be disorienting. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I can... I can uh, turn that off if we decide to. Hello, 810K2. Welcome. Thank you for stopping in. I'm in the Titan Tunnel of this uh, Final Fantasy ZZ ROM hack, so it's no longer your short Titan Tunnel, but a, a long, semi-grueling dungeon room. Although the, the enemy groups look to be pretty similar to those in the Earth Cave, so thankfully they're not uh, buffed up too much. Those are very, these are very similar enemy sets to what I was fighting in the first half of the Earth Cave. Yeah, including this one. I got this one a lot. This, uh, this no escape battle with the, the Wizard Ogre. And because I missed the sleep on the Wizard Ogre, he'll probably cast Ice. Unless I can kill him in one hit here. Nope, couldn't quite get him. So if he gets a turn here, he'll probably cast Ice. Oh, nope, he chose to attack instead. That's actually fantastic. That's what I wanted. Um, let me put you up here. There we go. So I was hoping to put him to sleep and or kill him in the first round with the crit from the fighter. Well, thank you, 8102K. I appreciate you stopping in to say hello. And, uh... Thank you for the, the feedback about the hacks. Uh, I'm having a good time with them, and uh, I hope that the streams and the YouTube posts of them end up being informative or interesting for someone. I wish my setup was a little bit better. I could stream in, in a little bit better quality. Um, but it is, uh, it is fun to explore these hacks, and it's nice to have a few folks stop by and say hello and uh, share them with me, as you guys are. So that's very nice of you to say. This is a seems to be a very common battle formation. This uh, wizard ogre green ogre hyena combo. LOL quality. I know my my quality is pretty LOL. I'm 
sorry about that. It's, it's my, my hardware setup. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you to say, too. The NES in its 240. Yes, that's, that's true, you're right. But, um, I just, I don't have one of these nice, big 1080, 60 FPS streams like, uh, a lot of those guys do, but, of course, a, a lot of those streamers are, they're, they're, they're having subscriptions, and they, they have it monetized, and, and all that stuff. So, um, they, they have a little bit better reason to have a better show than me. Hello, Ark. <laughs> yeah, I guess you guys are right. It, 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 it did look pixelated on the TV just as much. Um, I think I was looking at the chat when the battle started, but I believe this is an unrunnable fight. Um, and the bones are kind of nasty. Let me see if I can sleep these guys first. Yes, but hello, Ark. Hello, Shahali. Hello, 810. Hello, everybody who's stopped in. Turn on scan lines for your low quality TV. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so Tito Kazum, I'm glad you make that point because I feel like a lot of people, um, who, a lot of people stream in quality that those of us with lower connection speeds and lower CPU power, uh, can't really watch their streams very well or, or very smoothly. Now I can use my harm spell. <laughs> yes, Ark, I, I know how much you liked it. I mean, I appreciated your feedback, Art. I wasn't, I was, uh, I was happy to hear your opinions about it, so there were no, uh, no problems there. But yeah, I am continuing this. I just did a bunch of grinding off stream. But Tito Kazum, I, I feel like a lot of people who are small-time streamers like me, who don't have enough viewers to get quality options, stream in a quality that, that I can't watch. Shoot, was I heading up or down? I think I was heading up. So, yes, that's one thing that, um, my low-quality stream does do, is that, um, anyone can watch it on any any uh, connection speed and any CPU power. Okay, so A10, you have 240p with 500 kilobits for your stream. Okay. Even though you're you're on your streaming PS1 games, what are you streaming A10 2K? <laughs> yeah, so so that's that's one one strength of streaming in a in a bad connection is that anyone with with really slow internet or a really underpowered computer can watch it smooth as butter, as you say. I like that. That's very nice. Oh, you're streaming the Origins version? Yes. FF1 Origins. Okay. I need to. Oh, this one. I think this is one of those spiked hallways. I read about those and I saw one in the Earth Cave, so I'm not gonna take that one. Okay, so FF1 Origins, I, A10, I need to, uh, I need to give you a follow, so wh when I finish up here, if you're still going, um, I will pop over. You're doing a marathon? Okay. Um, when I'm finished up here today, if you're still going, I'll pop over, because I'd be very interested. <laughs> yeah, so actually, Ark, I've, I've got, uh, the move staff now, which, which helps me, uh, or the free staff, which helps me helps get me out of some of those paralyzed attacks. Um, so I'm, I'm able to get uh, get through some of them now, thankfully. But yes, A10, uh, K, I, think, I keep saying 2K, I think. A10, K2. Um, I will pop by um, when I'm finished up here. I didn't know you were also streaming FF1, exclamation mark, happy face, Ranker Z. So I'll pop that on. You will be. Uh, I'll be streaming here until I uh, until I have to start making dinner, and then I will watch you while I'm cooking pesto tonight. How about that? I will be Mr. Domestic while watching you stream FF Origins, and then and then uh, I can tell Ark finally, R692. I can finally tell him that uh, I've watched a little bit of Origins version. Shahali, thank you for stopping in. Have a nice day at work. I will stay safe. Yes, uh, that's an advantage of working the schedule I work, is that I can, uh, can cook dinner every night. And 
have that set. So, be working the hours I work, I can do streams when I want to during the day, and I can uh, cook dinner. Or supper, I guess, depending on what, uh, what part of the world you're from. You started watching him yesterday? Okay, you started... You've been on the Origins train since yesterday. I need to, need to pop in there. Then. Cool. So hopefully we're getting close to done with this, with this tunnel. Um, yeah, I noticed... I need to... I need to remember which direction I'm heading. Um, try to help me in the chat there if you... if you remember which direction I'm heading. I'm pretty sure I'm going up and around now. Okay, going to the right, going to the right. Okay, and that's it. So, this must be a boss-ish encounter for this, I guess. I guess you would call this a boss-ish encounter here. Alright, so Titan Tunnel was not as bad as it could have been, had my levels been, uh, been a lot lower. So I did, I did read, I'm just remembering some of the things I read in the threads about, uh... <laughs> yeah, I just I remember some of the things in the threads about people who said they used a pencil or something when they were in the Titan Tunnel, um, and pointed it in the direction that they were moving. And I thought, I won't need anything like that. I'm smart enough to remember which direction I'm going, but, uh... When you're chatting and streaming and, uh, looking at battles and...
everything else, and then the map lo loads back up again, you go, oh, which direction was I facing? Which direction was I going? I think your character always loads facing down, I believe. Um, yeah, there we go. So here you can see the, the Sun Staff cast harm one, which doesn't seem to get the doubling multiplier when it's cast from the staff, and I'm not sure if that's because of the intelligence difference in this, or if harm one functions a little bit differently in this version. Let's see if he casts it off with this one. Well, he only gets to see the one. Okay, well, he got the doubling multiplier on that one, for sure, but it seemed like when I was casting it on larger groups of undead before, I was not so much getting the doubling multipliers. You know what? I don't want to deal with this one. I'm not sure. I, I guess I'll still get the rod from Sarda here. So that treasure will stay in the same place, but I still don't have the crown. I'll get that, I think, um, according to the discussion threads. Uh, I think I'm going to get the crown at, after uh, the volcano. So, Ark, am I liking this? That's quite a question. Um, hello. That's nice. So, I, I am liking the, the some of the surprises. And the Earth Cave wasn't so bad with, with me power level as I was. So, I think the answer is going to be a, a general yes. Um, without grinding, it would not be very pleasant, but, um, with the grinding, it should be alright. Hiding deep inside, you will find the cause of the Earth's rock. And another house. So yeah, I am enjoying the, the new explorations here, which, but they would not be very fun if I wasn't massively overleveled, but I'm doing that just so that the stream doesn't...